G'day guys, Braden Shu here for Dyer Australia. Today we're going to be running you through three knots to tie um, your terminal tackle or your lures on. Uh, the first one being the blood knot, second one being the uni knot, and the third being the loop knot. Um, again, these knots are great just to tie 95% of your tackle onto your main line or your leader. So first off, uh, we'll start with the blood knot. I'm going to be using some 50 pound today just so it's a bit easier to see uh, and just a big worm hook. Perfect, so let's start off with the blood knot here now. So we've got our main line and we've got our hook with the, uh, with the eye there. So we're going to take that and go through, through the eye of the hook. Uh, I generally come through from the bottom, but with this knot it doesn't really matter whether you go through the top or the bottom. Um, and then we're going to pinch around the eye of the hook there um, with a couple of inches of, of tag end coming out there. We're going to pinch there because later on in the knot you're going to see that there, uh, there's actually going to be a hole kind of left there. Um, and then we're going to have to go back through that with the tag in. So it just makes it a little bit easier when there's a bit more of, a bit more of a hole there. So we're going to take our tag end with our main line. We're going to wrap our tag end around, uh, around our main line there. Um, with lighter lines, you can, I generally do this about eight times, but because this is a little bit heavier, uh, we'll go around about four or five times. Cool. So as you can see there, guys, we've got our tag end here and we've got our main line here. Um, and there's that the loop that I was um, saying earlier. So because we've pinched that, we've left a little bit more slack there and then it's just a little bit easier to pull uh, your tag through. So as you can see, we've wrapped around the main line there and we've got um, a spiral of line there. So next we're gonna take our tag end and we're gonna push that through that loop at the eye of the hook. And we're gonna just hold it there. And then we're gonna slowly pull down so as you can see there, it's all slowly starting to weave on itself and bind in. So we, we don't want to bind this up too much just yet um, because you will get line burn and that's not what we want. So um, we're going to take it down so it looks like it's all good and then we're going to just give it a little bit of lubrication. Um, lubrication is very key with knots because if you have any type of knot burn uh, or line burn, um, that, will, that will make your line um, um, break and we definitely don't want that. So we want to make sure that we give it uh, proper lubrication. Perfect, so that's lubricated up. So we're gonna just slowly pull that down now. As you can see, it's all binding in on itself. So once we get to about there, we're gonna give it a good pull on the main line. Perfect. So you can see that's all bind down and we're just gonna give it a good pull on the tag end here. Perfect, so that cinched the knot down really well. As you can see there, um, it's really nice sitting. Everything's looking really good. Now we're gonna to just top uh, chop that tag end off. Uh, we're going to leave a couple of mil there. Um, these knots generally don't have any movement, um, but it doesn't hurt to leave just a little bit of a tag end there, um, just in case. So there we go there. A nice blood knot done. So next off, we're going to do the uni knot. Um, this one's much similar to the much similar to the um, to the blood knot, um, but it's just done a little bit different. So this knot's generally good for uh, heavy applications, whether that be for popping or stick baiting, um, jigging. Um, you can use this for very heavy lines. Um, can still be used for the lighter lines, um, but this is a great heavy line or a uh, big fish knot. So again, we're gonna have the main line and we've got our hook. So we're gonna run the tag end or the main line up through, up through the eye of the hook. Again, pulling out a couple of inches. We've got a main line and our tag end. So next off, we're gonna just take the tag end and put a loop. And then we're actually gonna put this, put this loop here. So we've got the loop coming out of the eye of the hook and then it comes around and we're just gonna pull that main line up. So the top of the loop is in line with the main line like that. So the loop goes underneath the main line, just like that there. Then we've got our tag end here from the loop coming around and we're gonna take this tag end and run it through this hole. So that's gonna be around the top of our loop and the main line, we're gonna do that about three or four times. Perfect there, so again, uh, the light of the line, you might wanna go around six to seven times um, just to make sure, but with this heavier line, um, three to four is perfect. So we're gonna slowly pull that down there. So again, 
we've pulled that down that started to weave in on itself really nicely um, before there's any type of pressure applied we want to make sure we lubricate that up so as you can see we've got quite a bit of line here but that's okay um, this will all pull in so we're just going to lubricate that up perfect then we're just going to slowly pull that main line and as you can see that's pulling in and then it's going to come up to the hook there really nicely and then we want to equally pull the tag in and the main line at the same time so everything gets pulled down nice and evenly perfect and there we go there so then we're going to give one last good pull to make sure that uh, the knot's fully cinched down on the main line perfect and one last pull on the tag in perfect and there we have there a nice uni knot so again we're just going to chop the tag end off um, just leaving a couple of mil again it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of a tag in there it doesn't get in the way of anything so there we go there there's a uni knot all done and last but not least we're going to be doing uh, the loop knot the loop knot is perfect um, for using for lures or soft plastic um, baits it just adds a whole lot more um, movement to your bait and a lot more action um, which is really good because we're always looking for just that little bit more uh, action out of your lures so again we've got the main line and our hook and we're actually going to just make it make a granny knot into our main line just like that there um, leaving leaving a couple of inches from the granny knot, making sure not to cinch down that granny knot uh, because we actually need to go back through that with the line. So we've got our, got our granny knot and our line there. Then we get, we're just gonna grab um, um, our hook or our bait. Then we're gonna take the tag end up through the eye of that hook, pulling the tag end through. So it's just before the granny knot, as you can see there. Okay, then we're gonna grab our tag end and then we're gonna push that through the granny knot So as you can see, we've got our, we've got our knot there um, and then it's through the eye of the hook, just like that. Okay, and then next up, next up, we're just gonna take the tag end and actually wrap around to the main line, just like the blood knot. Uh, we're gonna do this about three to four times. Perfect, and again, uh, with light lines, you can go a little bit more if need be. Um, it'll just end up binding down a bit better, but with this bigger line, again, it's a bit, bit tougher to pull down. Uh, so there we go there. We've got our, got our wraps around our main line, then we're gonna take the tag end and actually go back through that greeny knot that we created at the start. Perfect, so there we go there. Everything's starting to bind down. You can see we've done the spirals back through the greeny, and we're gonna slowly pull it down but not too tight because again, we need to lubricate because that is a very big key part um, in knots. So we'll lubricate this up now. Perfect, and then we're just gonna slowly pull that down. So we're gonna just take the tag end and the main line and then we're gonna pull that. So when you pull this knot, you wanna make sure that you're pulling the tag end and the main line um, in line with each other. You don't want to have the tag end coming out and then the main line going in at 90 degrees because you're actually pulling the knot, uh, you're pulling each other apart like that, bringing the knot in. So as you can see there, essentially it's like a blood knot that is then stopped up against a, um, a granny knot. So as you can see there, we've got our loop and a free action on our hook um, with, the, with the knot out in front. So again, we're gonna, we've got our tag end. We're just gonna chop that down a couple of mils um, there's no problems with having a little bit extra tag end um, again because it's not getting in the way of anything so as you can see there we've got great movement uh, if we went to throw a, a, a soft plastic swim bait on this you'd find it would have great action so um, hopefully these three knots uh, can help you next time you're out on the water and, um, and it gets you a couple more bites and keeps a few more fish on cheers guys